Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new video. Uh, today is going to be episode number 33 of my Road to One Bill series. Uh, today we're actually at the Ammonite Crabs, just to start this off here. Uh, I've been AFKing here a lot since Fossil Island came out. Uh, it's really good training, and it is a decent way to get fossils, at least if you're kind of semi-paying attention. Unfortunately, I don't go right in your inventory or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to focus on leveling up my combat skills. I really want to start upgrading my melee gear, especially, and my melee stats, because they have been woefully underleveled for a long time, and uh, people have noticed for sure. Uh, so yeah, we're definitely going to try to level those up, uh, do some quests, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, clean all the fossils I've gotten here, and I think you get some uh, XP lamps from that. Alright guys, hope you enjoy. Uh, if you did, don't forget to toss the video a like, and uh, let's get started. Okay, to start off here, we have a task of uh, Black Demons that we're finishing up, and we actually got 84 range off them, which is nice. A uh, ton of rune chain body drops. Look, I got four of them, which is pretty nice, I guess. Uh, but overall, not a big fan of doing these uh, black demons. They're really lengthy. They're kind of expensive because you're blowpiping and cannoning, and usually they don't have very good drops. Although, to be fair, I got like six rune items this time, uh, which is pretty good. Okay, there we go. We finished up the task of black demons. That should be the last one. And there we go. That's another Slayer task complete. We're almost on our 60th one. Uh, so we should get a point boost pretty soon. Okay, we're going to go grab another task from Neve, and it's going to be uh, Blue Dragons. Kind of want to do that, but it's very slow. I think I may end up actually skipping that one. Uh, just going for kind of more XP tasks, even though I kind of do need the money, but I don't think Blue Dragons are really that great money, and they're a very slow task. So one quest I never ended up doing was the Elemental Workshop quest. A uh, really easy one to do, plus it gives a reasonable amount of smithing experience, but mainly since I've unlocked the new Wyverns, I want to go ahead and try killing them, and you do need a Mind Shield or an elemental shield. Okay, there we go, we made the bar, and I think all I have to do now is create the elemental shield, which shouldn't be too hard. Okay, there we go, that should be elemental workshop one completed, and with it, uh, 5,000 crafting and smithing experience, not bad for like a five minute quest, to be honest. Uh, no levels though. Oh my god, Ace12209 actually had a 510k blue feather donation. That's insane, you must have been working on that pretty much since I started collecting them, so thanks a lot, man. A valued member of the community here. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just finish Elemental Workshop 2. Uh, while I don't really need the Mind Shield for the Wyverns, because this one will work perfectly fine, uh, I might as well just get the extra bit of stats, and it is a quest point that I don't have, and I will need 175 pretty soon uh, to do Recipe for Disaster. So this quest is definitely a little bit more involved than the first one, and we have to start off by uh, repairing some piping, and then we have to go ahead and uh, bring this bar around this giant workshop and augment it with our own mind, I believe. Okay, I think this is it. Now, oh fuck, which one do you make? I want to say the Mind Shield, but that might not be right. I swear I read somewhere to actually finish the quest, you need to make the Mind Helm. Oh, god, I, know. I think I'm going to go for the Helm. I think that one was right, and hopefully that actually finishes the quest, because if we make the Shield, that really sucks, and you have to go redo this entire thing. Okay, good. Uh, so 7.5k smithing and crafting experience and a quest point. And now you can just go buy the Mind Shield off the Grand Exchange. Plus, we actually just got 52 uh, smithing as well, which is kind of nice. Okay, so we're actually over here at the Ammonite Crabs now. We're going to uh, go into a pretty big train frenzy on my days off. We're just going to come here every 15 minutes, click once or twice, and continue on our way. My goal on my days off, we're going to try to get 75 attack and strength, and ideally defense, because uh, we will need it eventually to wear the higher level gear. Okay, we're actually here to plant our first... Uh, harvest for Ultra Compost that uh, we went ahead and ditched the Toad Flaxes because with Ultra Compost, definitely going to want to go for some of the more expensive herbs. And we got some Renars lined up, but I think we still have Toad Flaxes planted here. I will go ahead and do a full farm run. And yeah, excited to see how, uh, well, I'm assuming that Ultra Compost is going to work very similar to Super Compost, but still, uh, I think right now it's going to be very profitable to do. So I feel like I've been dry at Barrows for quite a while now. I think this is actually my 300th chest now. And it's been at least 20 or 30 since my last item. And the dry streak continues, but that is 300 bearish chests complete, which is kind of a nice milestone. So I've kind of noticed these have dropped a fossil pretty much every half an hour, so we are slowly stacking those up. Uh, we just got another attack level. There is 72 attack, uh, plus actually 1425 total, uh, which is not bad, I guess. Uh, but yeah, hopefully we can eventually unlock all the fossils for the kudos, but actually, more importantly, uh, some experience, some well-needed experience in obscure skills I don't plan on training. <laughs> okay, there we go. There's my 60th task in a row. We ended up with uh, Black Dragons, 
uh, which I don't really mind doing. They don't take that long, and you can kind of AFK here. Uh, plus, you do actually get a decent amount of money from the drops, uh, but they're a little annoying. But anyway, there is an extra 60 points, bringing our total to uh, 137, which isn't that many. And we'll just grab another task while we're here, although I'm not sure if I'm going to do it right now. Uh, Baron Spectres is not too bad. We'll get through that eventually. But for now, I think I'm going to head back to Fossil Island. Another level coming in. That is level 72 strength. Uh, we're actually sneakily getting some runescaping in on the side. Girlfriend has no clue what the fuck's going on. Uh, that is really why I'm excited for RuneScape Mobile. AFK like this will be so easy. Just quick, no one even suspects. You're just on your phone. You can just say you're fucking on Facebook or something. It's perfect. Okay, we decided to come up here to the uh, volcano on Fossil Island and start mining some of this volcanic ash. Uh, we actually just hit a mining level, so now we can wear the dragon pickaxe eventually. Probably won't buy one yet. Uh, but we've got about 755 ash in about uh, 45 minutes or so. And currently that's worth about uh, 600k, so that's pretty decent actually. I uh, just missed a large fossil. God damn it. Oh well, anyway, we're just about to hit a, another strength level here, uh, which is pretty exciting. Currently, I'm getting about uh, 60 to 70k in a combat stat. Uh, it kind of evens off at around 65k. If you're kind of paying attention, if you end up stopping for a while, it's kind of down to 55k or 60k, but still really good for complete AFK. And uh, you, again, you do get the fossils, albeit very slowly, uh, but there's level uh, 73 strength. Okay, I managed to almost line up a attack strength and defense level. Fortunately, I didn't quite get it because <laughs> uh, it would. I thought I would accidentally level up because uh, I wanted to get one attack on shared and have all those level up at once. Uh, but either way, this will do, I guess. There's level uh, 74 strength, and you can see I'm literally almost at another defense and attack level as well. Okay, there we go. That should be the attack level after this crab, or maybe one more. Crap. Okay, there we go. There is level 73 attack. And last up is defense. We're currently in 94 combat. I don't think we've actually gotten a combat level yet, but one more for defense. And there we go. That should be uh, 71 defense. You can see in the chat bar. It looks pretty nice. Uh, strength level, attack level, and now a defense level. And we're kind of getting up there slowly, uh, but pretty surely with this AFK. Okay, I think this is going to be all the training for now. That is going to be 75 strength, uh, which is pretty close to my goal. I want 75 strength and attack, uh, but we're pretty close anyway. Should be the last hit. Perfect. 75 strength. A nice milestone to get. Uh, now we can, I think, wear the uh, mall or the other mall uh, if we <laughs> decide to get it at some point. Although, actually, we will need 75 attack as well. But there we go. We got the strength requirement at least. And fuck it. We decided to go for another attack level. Should be pretty much done. And spec for it. Nope. Quite. <laughs> didn't quite get it, unfortunately. Uh, that is 74 attack. And uh, we did actually go up a combat level, so we're 95 now, which is nice. So here's my loot from AFKing at the uh, Ammonite Crabs for maybe 5 or 6 hours. We got 15 small fossils, 10 mediums, and 4 larges. Now we did miss a couple. Obviously while we're AFKing there's drops and they will disappear if you don't pick them up too quickly. Uh, but now we're going to go ahead and repair the camp. Uh, which will give us an extra 5 small fossils once we've repaired everything. Okay there we go. There is the well repaired. And that's actually a good amount of experience to be honest. 500. We could repeat that. And the next up is going to be the loom and the spinning wheel. We're getting a thousand for that. <laughs> Not too shabby. And another thousand for the uh, loom, I believe. Pretty good. Now, we've already prepared everything else. Uh, and this is the last one is the fossil cleaning table. And that is it. All five items have been repaired since we already did the bank chest. And we just kind of randomly did the cooking pit. Uh, so, yeah, we just have to go talk to Pete, I believe. Hello, Pete. Can I have my free fossils, please? There we are. Five unidentified small fossils, and that will bring us up to 20, which should be four sets, I believe. So as far as I understand, to get the uh, CUDA reward as well as the experience, you need to get a set of five uh, fossil fragments, I would call them. And uh, to do that, you need at least five of one of any of the fossils. You need five small, five medium, or five large. Once you've cleaned them, you bring them to the museum, and you set them up, and then you get your reward. Okay, so we're at the bottom level of the museum now, so all I have to do, I think, is add all these small fossil fragments to the fossil display. And I guess we have to keep clicking, uh, but once we put them all in there, we should get the XP lamp. And right now we're at 148 kudos, we're missing 5 from one quest, but yeah, there we go, we got 2 kudos and an XP lamp. Okay, so we've finished adding all the fossils, we didn't quite have enough to fill up a large one, but we had 2 mediums now. So it leaves us with 6 XP lamps, which is actually really nice. And the fossils actually look kind of cool, so I actually would like to go complete that. 
but uh, I'm putting all the experience right into rune crafting, uh, which theoretically, if I put every single lamp in there, that's going to be 120,000 rune crafting experience, uh, which would theoretically get me to level 55. Uh, but still, even these six are actually going to get me quite a few rune crafting levels. Like there's level 40, and we have uh, three more lamps put in. Uh, chuck them in there. So we got one more 2,000 lamp and or one more 3,000 and two more 2,000s, I believe. One more in there that should be level 41, and the last lamp I think is going to bring us to 42. So not bad. Free rune crafting experience is always nice because I really don't want to go train it anyway. Okay, so we just hit uh, 75 attack, and that's all for now, and that was my goal for the episode, so I'm pretty happy with that. And uh, now I think I'm going to go do the Fremnic Isles quest. So to start the uh, Fremnic Isles quest, I actually needed one more woodcutting level, uh, which we went and promptly got. We almost already had the level, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, so my goal for the next couple episodes is I want to upgrade my melee gear, and uh, the easiest upgrade uh, is going to be getting the Fremnic Helm. Uh, the Helm of Need is not, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, there we go. We started the quest. So we're heading off to Relica to do this. Uh, now, after the Helm of Nidus Nod, I want to get Barrow's Gloves. And then I want to try to save up for Bandos uh, Tacits or maybe the Bandos Chestplate. So we need to entertain the Fremnic Master. And all the while, I need to be paying attention to the goons in the background because they're going to be dropping important information bombs on the uh, state of the quest and such. Uh, but this guy's a little bit of a dick. I'm jigging as fucking hard as I can. Calm down, please. Okay, now I have to go collect taxes from people, which I'm sure they are going to be super happy about. Uh, this tax is for having windows, which is a fair tax, I would say. The tax after that, I believe, is for having a beard, uh, which, again, totally agree with. So apparently you need specifically a bronze nail. It can't be any other nail, so I had to go back and grab one. And what's the problem now? Uh, oh, I don't have a hammer. Okay, that's no, that's no problem. I can go ahead and grab him from the bank here, but unfortunately I didn't even have one bronze nail in my bank, so I had to run all the way back to the Grand Exchange, which is a pain, uh, but this should be it. Let's just make the hammer, and I also believe this is a uh, task for the Fremnik Diary, so I guess you uh, get two things done at once, which is nice. Actually, a hard task. It's kind of surprising. Okay, we're on to the troll fight. We're going to have a little battle royale here. I need to kill 10 trolls, and then the boss, and then that's pretty much the quest complete. Okay, so uh, we'll see how hard this boss is. I feel like I may have overprepared a little bit, but uh, I don't know. Who knows? I feel like every time I actually don't prepare properly, I get fucked. And every time that I prepare properly, I use, like, one food. Uh, so either way, if it's luck or not, uh, I'll just bring the food and not die seems to be the better call. Okay, there we go. The boss is dead. Now we just got to decapitate him. Fuck you. There we go. And now we just have to head back and complete the quest. Okay, so we're going to put the experience into strength because I don't really think it matters too much. So we're just going to put it into uh, strength because that is ideally what I'm going to be training up next. Uh, but yeah, not a huge deal. But there we go. That is the quest done. We get the Helm of Needless Knot as well as uh, some crafting and woodkinning experience, I believe, uh, which isn't a big deal. But most importantly is... Uh, are we actually going to finish the quest, or just, there we go, cool. Uh, we also get a quest point, and yeah, actually a good amount of experience from this quest. But again, most importantly is the Helm of Nia's Knot, which gives a plus four prayer bonus over the Warrior's Helm, which I was wearing before. Plus, it just looks a lot better, to be honest. Got that thing on, sweet. Got the awesome wings, and uh, yeah, perfect. Okay, guys, that's about it for today. I hope you did enjoy the episode, so let's have a look at what I achieved. Uh, so we got up to 75 attack and strength from 70, uh, which took a while, but uh, afk it, it's not too bad. Uh, we got a defense level, uh, we got an HP level, as well as a uh, range level. So a lot of combat stats we ended up getting up. Uh, we got a woodcutting level, a uh, 3 or 4 runecrafting levels just from the experience. Uh, I think we got a combat level, or a construction level. Now as far as quests, we got uh, the Fremnic Isles quest done for the Helm of Need is Not. Which is awesome, glad to have that. And then we got the Elemental Workshop uh, quest done. And maybe some other crap I'm forgetting, but who cares. Uh, so anyway, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next episode.